Well, our next installment in our, in our little uh, campground reviews is going to be Santa Rosa Lake State Park. It's in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And we pulled in here for the night. The campground, there is two campgrounds in this state park. We are in the Juniper Campground, which has no hookups. It's a, what, they, what we would call primitive camping. There is no water, no electric. Um, there is a dump station on the way out. There is a restroom uh, essentially located in the campground, but unfortunately when we were here it's closed because they're expecting freezing temperatures. They said once the freezing temperatures pass through, they will open it up again. Now there is a second campground here called Rocky Point, and that one does have electricity, but apparently that one is seasonal and is already closed for the season when we are here, so we only have the option of the one. Um, the campground is pretty nice. I would give it probably three and a half stars. I'm holding back a little bit because it is primitive camping. You're not getting any hookups and I think that's important to some people. It wasn't so important for us for an overnight. Um, but the other thing that I'm kind of holding back a little bit more on is the campsites can be a little small. Now we came in here off season and we had the choice of pretty much every campsite. There was um, I think two other people here at the time. And we picked one that is fairly good size. It's a pull-through site, but to get us to fit in here comfortably, I had to pull through and back up to reposition the trailer a little bit. Um, but other than that, I think it's uh, it's pretty decent. But some of the campsites could be pretty small. Most of them are, are these pull-through. And if you have a rig about the size of ours or even larger, you may be tight fit into some of these. But like I said, I'm gonna give this campground three and a half stars. Um, if you're coming along Interstate 40 and you're near Santa Rosa and you're looking for an overnight, I would recommend this campground. They're, they do not take reservations. They are all first come, first serve. Now, the electric sites may be reservable when that part is open, but this section is first come, first serve. So, give it a shot.